Hello Aquarius, welcome to your reading for June. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Please make sure you check all your placements to get a clear picture of what's going on for you at this time. As always, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate for all of you. Please take the bits that do resonate and leave the rest behind for somebody else. Alright, I'm going to be pulling a Celtic cross for you today, but I'm starting off with a couple. Look at the energy in the cards. Strange. Starting off with a couple of star code oracles for you. Nice. Alright. We have 10th house authority and we have Neptune vision. It's funny you have 10th house because I just did Capricorn's reading before yours and Capricorn rules the 10th house. Neptune, interestingly, is going retrograde in Pisces. You may be either on the Capricorn cusp or the Pisces cusp. It's possible. Otherwise, you may have either heavily in your chart. Neptune rules Pisces. And Neptune going retrograde in Pisces is going to be a doozy. It's going to put us in our heads quite a bit. I feel like some of you may be trying to hold on to your power. You may be trying to hold on to your authority. You may be trying to hold on to the whole aspect of controlling your emotions and control sort of kind of trying to control how other people emote towards you. Does that make sense? I feel like you're introspecting a lot. And I feel like with the 10th house authority, this could also have to relate to your public image, how people perceive you and your career path. There is some kind of vision that you have in mind that you want to achieve. There is a mountain that you know you need to climb, but you're very focused on it. Let's see. Let's see what your tarot says. That's way too many, so I won't take these. All right, we have the seven of wands and we have the page of wands. I feel like that vision that I was talking about, the vision that you have, it is kind of, you have those uh, blinders on that horses have around their heads. You are very, very focused on whatever this is, but it's kind of bordering on being defensive. Does that make sense? You want to achieve something and I feel like there may be naysayers around you who don't really believe in what it is that you want to achieve. So you are kind of in a defensive standpoint and you're having to almost uh, hold your ground. I will clarify. I'm just giving you a general overview now. Your focus is the page of pentacles. You have two pages. Some of you may be dealing with children. It's possible. But for the others, with the page of pentacles being your focus, I feel like you realize that you may not be a master at something yet, but you're willing to learn. You're curious enough to do your homework and train yourself in whatever this is. With authority, I'm getting some of you may be hoping for a promotion. I do see that coming about because you're so laser focused, but just make sure that you don't operate from a defensive stature. All right, be a little more forthcoming. What was in the recent past? The Three of Pentacles. It's possible that you were part of a collaboration. This could be a family business. That could This could be some kind of partnership. Uh, some of you may have been in business with friends. It's possible. Let's see, what is your strength? What is crowning you, Aquarius? Yes, the magician. Your strength is your power to manifest. Your strength is your power and authority that you have all the tools that you need in order to create the life of your dreams. That's incredibly wonderful. All right, transformation. There is a change. I could feel it. Even though we have Neptune showing up here, I was getting Uranian energy and Uranus is your co-ruler with Saturn. I feel that there is some kind of transformation that may have begun during the total full moon lunar eclipse in Scorpio. Why I say that is, which was mid-May, uh, why I say that is because the death card is Scorpionic energy. This transformation that wants to come about for you may be uncomfortable, but it is for your own good. I feel like that laser focus that you had towards something. There is something coming about to transform how you look at that goal. And something you can adopt to truly reach that apex. 
you know what I mean, that transformation from pages, from this diluted energy to, well, the magician, to something a little more powerful than that. Let's see, how are you showing up to this reading? The Ten of Swords. You've been through a lot of pain. And what is so beautiful is, you see, in both these very dark, depressing cards, the sun is rising in both of them. So this is almost that dark night of the soul that leads to you actually seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. Every ten of swords, every ten in the tarot resets to an ace. I feel that there is going to be a sudden boost of clarity. You may have been overthinking because every sword in the ten of swords is a thought or an idea that has been overplayed in your mind. And I feel like all of this overplaying and overthinking has brought you to your knees. But with both of these cards showing up, there is transformation, most certainly. Let's see, external influences that you may or may not be aware of. There is somebody around you who, okay, I could see this two ways. Somebody around you who is extremely sad, okay, in relation to you. Or this could be somebody who's pulling your energy down. It's somebody else's frequency that could be putting you in your head. I will need more cards when I clarify. Let's see. Hopes and fears. Ten, the Nine of Swords is going to show up. And we have the Nine of Cups. Beautiful. You want your wishes to be fulfilled. You want to be happy. You want this emotional independence. You want to cater to your own needs. I see that's going to happen for you. Let's see. Potential outcome. <laughs> Eight of Swords in your head a lot Aquarius you really are but bottom of the deck we have the sun we have strength this wants to shine out for you I feel like you some of you may be doing that shadow work and you're just like in the deep dark depths of doing that shadow work and you're not being able to see that sun rising you know what I mean let's see let's clarify let's get one card for the center temperance yeah, I think this is a piece of advice. That goal, that vision that you have, that you have set in order to reach this position of authority, I feel like be a little more temperate in your demeanor. Be a little more patient. Be a little more calm. I feel like with so many planets in Aries, they're firing us up. They're making us angry. They're making us, you know, very bold and courageous, but also a little sharp. With temperance showing up, I feel like you need to be a little softer in your approach. And again, slow and steady wins the race. That's what I'm getting here. Page of Pentacles. We have the Three of Pentacles again. I feel like you are focusing on a partnership from the past. Now, if you're here for love, this could be a past relationship that you are focusing on and you want to start it afresh with a fresh pair of eyes with the Page of Pentacles. For the others, it could be a collaborative effort that you were a part of earlier, a partnership, a business partnership that you want to revive. Mm -hmm. Four of Wands. This could very well be a past relationship. It is possible. It is something that brought you emotional fulfillment. You are focusing, laser focusing on that. Why is the Three of Pentacles here in the past? Yeah, this brought you a lot of joy. Remember I said emotional fulfillment. You are hoping for something from the past to come about again. I mean, it is clear as day. Let's see. Let's get one more card for the past. We have the Hierophant. I feel, okay, you remember I said with authority, you're trying to reach that particular apex. And the Hierophant talks about three steps. It talks about ascension and elevation. It talks about initiation, apprenticeship, and then eventually mastery. You had reached a particular apex in the past. You had reached a level of mastery in the past. You are hoping to revive that. Plain and simple. This could be something you did for work. Let's see. Why is the magician here? Judgment. Yeah. Oh my God. Aquarius. You are manifesting something from the past. Whether you like it or you don't. That is your vision. Your vision is to reawaken something. Again. Whether it's a relationship, whether it is something that you did for work, but I feel like you are doing it correctly. You have the power, or at least you have the power to do it correctly. Okay, because, I mean, we have a lot of difficult energy right here, so let's see. Why is the death card here? The king of swords. 
Okay, that doesn't tell me much. I need one more. Strength finally showed up. I feel like you are drawing boundaries. Even though you are hoping to rekindle something, whether on the work front or on the love front, I'm not sure. But you are operating more from a place of logic now. Sort of like actually a balance of heart and head. Because strength is a Leo card and Leo rules our hearts. And the King of Swords is a very mental energy. It is air energy. It is your energy. I feel that, that there is almost a transformation in how you perceive life in general. Justice, exactly. I feel like you are focusing on authenticity. You are not beating around the bush. You're making your own rules and making sure you follow them. Because things may have been extremely up in the air for you. And um, it's almost like you didn't have control. You couldn't tame or control the outcome or the people that you were surrounding yourself with. But once you start focusing on the truth, you will not need to control anything because you're, you're, you're giving up control in the sense you're letting the universe take over. You know what I mean? And that is when that transformation can truly come about successfully. All right, let's see. Why is the Ten of Swords here? Why are you showing up as the Ten of Swords? Some kind of communication that came about that brought you a lot of pain and the lovers, something related to a relationship. You're in pain right now, Aquarius. You're upset. You're sad. You feel betrayed. You may have felt that someone made you an option with the lovers card. Mercury is in retrograde. A lot of miscommunications can happen during this time. A lot of words and sentences can be misconstrued. So keep that in mind. I don't know what that noise is. All right, the magician. Yeah, <laughs> listen. You remember I said you're trying to manifest correctly. Sometimes when there is residual sadness, there is residual energy. When there are people around you who may be pulling you down, you start matching their frequency and you start manifesting from that place. Okay, so with the magician, make sure you are using the correct brain waves, the ten of wands, the correct, how should I put this? It's almost like, okay, I'm going to call you out a little bit, Aquarius. Do not throw any pity parties for yourself, okay? There could be people around you who are throwing their burdens on you. You are taking them on and you're almost confusing which emotions are yours and which emotions are of other people. And because you're not being able to draw those boundaries just yet, you are manifesting from a place of lack. Does that make sense? Slightly elusive, slightly vague, but try and truly think about what I just said. Let's see, Nine of Cups in your hopes and fears. The Knight of Pentacles, whatever it is that you are hoping for, these wishes, these dreams that you have of this emotional fulfillment, I see that coming about for you. I see you being happy. It's going to take a little bit of time. The Knight of Pentacles is a very slow moving knight, but it's the only knight that is there to stay. Once he comes in, he doesn't go back. You know, it's not like the Knight of Wands or the Knight of Swords. So be a little patient. And whatever this is that is going to bring you that fulfillment will come about for you. I promise you that. Alright, Eight of Swords. We have the Queen of Swords and we have the Two of Wands. I feel that the, with the Two of Wands, you want to get out of this uncomfortable comfort zone. You want to set the intention to start something new. With the Queen of Swords, you want to set boundaries, you want to set rules. But then again, I don't see any execution. I see the intention. But where is the execution? The Wheel of Fortune. All right. This is a piece of advice for you. If you have the intention to do something, Aquarius, do it. Because if you don't, the universe steps in. And the universe, I almost like to, like to put it like this, the universe employs Uranus to come in and bring about a tower moment. All right, Uranus will come in and make sure that it removes anything from your energy field that does not belong there if you don't do it yourself. 
if you do it yourself you can do it correctly in the sense you can do it in a way that it doesn't upset you uranus can come and upset you so can pluto so can whatever this eclipse, uh, eclipse was the energy that it brought about that transformation that came about or will come about make sure you are removing any kind of self-doubt you are removing any kind of stuckness if that makes sense do not stagnate yourself because if you do things may come about to change your reality before you're ready it's going to be for your highest good <clears throat> that's for certain but just try and stay on the same page as the universe you know what i mean but overall it's been a beautiful reading and i see something from the past that you're trying to manifest back into your life i see that coming about for you if it brought you joy and with neptune and 10th house i do feel whatever visions you've had for success for your recognition for your career i see all of that coming about as well but you just need to be a little patient all right and make sure you're manifesting correctly aquarius all right that was your reading i hope it helped you guys and if it did resonate don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already enjoy june it's going to be a lovely month i will see you in the next one bye bye